Welcome to our last day of Wilderness Escape Bible School. We hope you've had a wonderful time at your house uh, with your little tribe and that you've been enjoying the stories and the skits. I want to thank the entire Sentis family for all their work as, uh, as our actors. They've done a fantastic job and it's been a lot of fun to work with them. I uh, hope you've enjoyed Miss Margaret in Preschool Bible School, uh, the Bible stories, and I uh, hope you're enjoying all your other activities, your recreation activities and crafts and your tribe time. Uh, right now, give your tribe leader, which is probably your parents or your grandparents, a big hug and a big thank you for, uh, for taking the time to lead you in Bible school this week. Um, we do welcome you to the last day. We've been discovering how God guided and provided for his people, the Israelites. God was with them, and he gave them what they needed. He gave them strength, and he saved them. God is with us, and God gives us what we need. He gives us strength, and he saves us too. What an amazing God. We'll start by singing our theme song, God Will Guide Us. You're watching Life Tree Kids. you'll sing it over and over again with your CDs uh, in the weeks to come. Yesterday, Moses taught us about a special night when God saved his people. It was before they left Egypt, and we learned that God saved us, so trust God. God had told his people that when they sinned or they did something wrong, they needed to sacrifice a goat or a lamb to make themselves right with him. That meant the animal had to die. Blood had to be shed to pay for the wrongdoing. We also learned that because of God's son Jesus, we don't have to make sacrifices like that anymore. That Jesus' blood covers all of our sins forever. That's how God saves us, so trust God. We're going to sing There's Power in the Blood, which is CD track 8 at, with, with your tribes. Thanks for watching Live Tree Kids. There's power, there's power, there's wonder working power. There's power, there's power, there's wonder working power. There is power, 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 wonder working power in the blood, in the blood of the land. There is power, 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 power. 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 power.
great singing, and I hope you continue to enjoy all of those songs. Today, we're going to learn that God guides us, so trust God. This is our last day with our friends, the Israelites. You'll learn how God gave the Israelites ten commandments or rules to guide them and help them to know the right thing to do. Just as God guided the Israelites, God guides us. So, trust God. We can always turn to God when we need to know the right thing to do. Psalm 16:7 is our memory verse for today, and it says, I will bless the Lord who guides me. That's our key verse for today. So when we say that, raise your hands high for I will bless the Lord. And then hold your hands out in front of you like, like you're on a path. God, for God is the Lord who guides me. So I will bless the Lord who guides me. My friend today is Rocky, the rock badger. Most small animals like this burrow in the ground, but not the rock badger. Just like his name says, he finds shelter under and in between rocks. You and I have a strong rock that we live under. God's rules and commands protect and keep us safe. What a great feeling to know that God's word shelters us like a rock. No wonder it says in Psalm 16, 7, I will bless the Lord who guides me. Remember to talk about your God sightings today in your tribes. Talk about ways you see God, different things that you see that remind you of God throughout the day. Well, today we're going to hear from two of our Israelite friends. It's called Where's Moses? Have you seen Moses? Where's Moses? Did you see him? Moses! Moses! Where are you? Why aren't you back yet, Moses? Moses! Moses! Raphia! <laughs> what are you shouting about? Moses is old, but he's not deaf. I want to talk to him about where he's brought us to. There's nothing out here. Absolutely nothing. Casey, you've forgotten. See that big mountain up there? Mount Sinai? That's where Moses is. He's meeting with God. You've seen the smoke and you've heard the thunder. You know God is giving Moses instructions for how to guide us. No, no, no. He's been up there for days, weeks. How do we even know he's out, still up there? He's probably secretly left and back in Egypt right now. <laughs> Moses wouldn't do that. Oh, God must have a lot to tell him. Take a look around, Raphael. We're a new nation. This is exciting news. A new nation now. <laughs> oh, a nation of wanderers. Shira, we're living like peasants. Raphael, what did you eat this morning? Manna for the... Oh, wait. I've been eating manna for forever. <laughs> yes. Um... But don't forget, where did you get your water this morning? The rock, spewing water out of its side, way outside the camp. And tell me about the battle with the Amalekites. Well, we finally won with Joshua's leadership. Oh, Joshua, are you kidding? Oh, God has guided us this entire time, and he'll continue to show us the way. Look. That smoke, that's not fire. The ground, it's been shaking. It's not because of the chariots that are following us. That's your story? Moses has been gone about a month, and I'm getting annoyed. Where are we going to, and what are we going to do? Can you believe him? Ugh. Raphael, I'm going to roast some nice quail and sit in my tent, and then I'm gonna wait for Moses to come back down that mountain for the instructions that God has given him. 
enjoy a little barbecue. I'm going to go find some nice manna to toast again. Well, be sure to listen carefully in your Bible lesson today for the instructions that God gave to Moses on Mount Sinai. We still follow those instructions today, and they're very important. So we uh, be looking for that in your, in your uh, Bible lesson. Enjoy your time in recreation and, and doing, making your crafts, and especially in your tribe time where, you, where we talk about the Bible lessons and what we've learned. Let's end with a prayer. Dear Lord, thank you that we can have this time with our families to learn and to grow and to learn about your commandments. We thank you for being with us during this week of Bible school, and we pray that you will bless our time. In Jesus' name, amen. Great day.